is best three out of five. Let's see what Zane and Dark Falcon can show us today in this matchup. I think we will, I believe we've seen this last week. I forgot who took it. Hmm. Yeah, both uh, these are th both names that you see um, all over these brackets. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> that one gunman piece. got whipped. That one dude got hit like five times. Oh yeah, taking it to him. Can't let him play because if he's active enough, he's able to shoot you. Mm-hmm. Oh my, there's so much happening in between the characters. Like, there's so many things hitting each other, and like... Flame. Yeah, exactly. Can't... Because they both got cans. Because Holy Water's kind of like a can. Yeah. They both got explosives. Yeah. Things to hold them down in case, like, something whips. These gunmen are getting stuffed though. That's a that's a yeah main yeah. There. And also the range. Dark Falcon is Ooh. playing really really well against neutral or against a gunman, but Zane catching that the forward smash, taking the first stock here. Oh, so it's a matter of like who can get through each other's pattern first with their projectiles. Yeah, this is low key. This is a puzzle game right now. <laughs> this is a, they're playing Puyo Puyo. It's a shootout. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Zane, like, Duck Hunt's always staying really low to the ground. It's really going to disrupt what uh, Dark Falcon wants to do here with the short hop whips. Ooh, Ooh. Air Dodge is in? Okay, still living, though. Still wasn't like, You'll take that killed. trade if you're Zane. Oh, but... yeah, I got stuff on the ledge right there. Couldn't recover. Yeah. Didn't I wonder where the up B was. Probably didn't realize they were getting, like, hit there, too. Possibly, they look, yeah. They looked really weird on camera, too. Those, those, the camera yeah. draw distance was throwing me off a bit. I had no idea what position Duck Hunt Ooh. was in there. But oh, the dirty set up there with the gunman off stage. Oh, yeah. Solid lead here for, for Zane, but it can all go away off one solid hit off the stage to get advantage yeah. right back. Giving Belmont any form of advantage off on the stage is crucial. They can kill you so early. Dark Falcon has a grudge against these, 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 uh, this gang here. Yeah, these banditos cannot come out and play. Yeah. As if they do, they can put him in disadvantage. Oh, this is the tip. Dark Falcon, like, who is that gaucho amigo? <laughs> well, the clay pigeon multi-hit move. Mm-hmm. Can't be stopped as easily. Just set up the meaty gunman into the can there, but slides right into that setup. Oh, oh, does oh doesn't get the setup into the can? Um, like, I'm, I'm like not really sweating this situation because like it it feels like this is I, I'm just waiting for this to come down to last hit with how even this game has been, and how much damage each like both of these players are piling up on each other. Yeah, it's like when one player gets like the other off the stage and puts a, puts a thing out, mm -hmm. it's a lot of patience and resilience just to not get hit by whatever they're throwing on the stage. Yeah. This fire. And oh, no. I think, okay, so to Dark Talkin's credit, I think one of the biggest um, differences, or like, I, wanna, I think one of the biggest, like, disparities between these two characters is getting to the ledge. I think I think Richter may have an easier time just by virtue of having a hitbox on his up B and having the tether. Um, Ooh, nice and having a down way. air if he wants to get really slick. Whereas Zane, you have to somehow up B to ledge around holy water and make it around axe and and like the it's it's a lot safer to for dark falcon to get to ledge if he's close enough um and dark falcon is really playing that to his his advantage right now they look quite even with these trades these two are scrambling out in this, this war of ammunition but again oh! hold as up. i say you got that, combos off that hold up as i see say that again that, Zinc, Zinc caught everybody sleeping right there. Let me see that again. Hold up. I was waiting for that to go to last hit. I was like, okay, there's going to be damage, 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 damage. And Zane's like, okay, here's some damage for mm -hmm. you. Mental damage. <laughs> Just like, those clay pigeon cover so much. I think they wanted to go on the ledge that I was able to calm off of that too. So late. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Duck Hunt, low-key, kind, of kind of a pretty fast run speed. Like, Duck Hunt can make, the, can make stuff happen. 
Yeah, yeah. You think this character would have like slow buttons and stuff, but like when mm -hmm. they get off their buttons, like their their B moves, leads so much. Especially that clay pigeon. That's that's like the MVP button right there. The the old reliable for the character. Exactly. And with a player like Zane that knows how to combo and set up off of that move alone just makes him a very strong duck hunt. Check this out. Oh. And that was the like that was the first real big reversal. Or, or like the first really like high leverage mix up for either player in that game because the rest of that game was like getting your damage and then it's just a matter of who finds the the strong hit um but like that game was headed straight towards a like a very tense last hit situation but zane like really found the like the first real early kill there oh yeah and okay. now converting off these clay pigeons really really cleanly too Cross. The lead has been built up by Zane like a lot during this, these two games. It feels evenish though. It still is evenish because mm. of how how early you can get kills here with, with Richter, but it just requires a setup. True. Work. And you know what? Like for how good for how good Dark Falcon has been at disrupting everything that Zane has been trying to set up with the gunman and with the can, the clay pigeon. Tell tell me. How many how like how many holy water boomerang ledge setups have we seen from Dark Falcon in this set? Not one. And so like that really speaks to how good defense Zane is playing right now. Very. Those cans are helping out so much and stopping whatever setup that Dark Falcon is trying to go for as a Absolutely. Oh no, we can't get caught up there. Except that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to go hide over the recovery if they think he was safe, but like Zane. In the count for that axe. Now the lead goes to Dark Falcon. Let's see if Dark Falcon can escape Zane's setups. This stock is probably not long for this world. Can is a really good tool here to get rid of these stocks. Ooh, four tilt. Okay, how do you get out of this? Eesh. Oh, he did Simply though. Simply roll. Simply roll. And then right roll time. again. When people are not ready for it, roll seems to be one of the best options to escape ledge pressure. Oh, yeah. Very fast, oh, too. <laughs> Richard said, take this. Zane said, okay. <laughs> and he took it. They took it. Yeah, Dark Falcon likes to go for a lot of setups that involve throwing items another way and then somehow putting the opponent into the items that they, that they threw in the opposite direction, like those crosses, mm. for example. Those are well set up. There's not being randomly thrown out. Like there's nothing random being thrown out for a ooh, character ooh, like there, that. was a that was oh, another like player. really high leverage play there. Yeah. Gunman's getting stuffed again. I feel like Zane is finding their way in because of how Dark Falcon is trying to stop these gunmen from hitting him. Mm. With clay pigeon combos. Dark, yeah, Dark Falcon has been really effective at stuffing out um, a lot of the worst of Duck Hunt's ranged game. <gasps> a fantastic recovery. Yeah, like getting the swing to avoid that can. I have no idea how you control that. A very solid way of Ooh, Zane putting goes that for the can back up. air. Oh, they're vulnerable. Very vulnerable right there. That up is super, super vulnerable. Yeah. I know like, where to go. There's, there's, there's like nowhere to go once you use that move. Oh no! Oh wow! Zane reverses it again. Because of the the fact that the the can left the camera like that, that was very hard for Dark Falcon to see where they were. So they were just like, "Where's this dog?" <laughs> I love Galaxy Brain camera plays on PS2. Yeah. It's kind of grimy, but like, if it works, then like you know you're basically you're using the stage to your advantage. That's all it is. Dog's a genius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, the other side of that, Richter outsmarted by a dog? Question mark. <laughs> Can defeat vampires and ghouls, <laughs> but a dog and a duck with mad cans and goons. It's, it's the stop. power of teamwork. <laughs> well, your friends at Richter. <laughs> Ooh, that late clay pigeon combo. Zane in full control. There's the can. Oh, no. Not you, cut. No you, cut. Oh, oh my god. Back. I cannot. Dark Falcon made it back from there. Yeah. Good on Dark Falcon staying patient right there in that moment. Oh, wait. No tech. You should. Okay. Oh, 
The Bandito strikes. Shoots He's still again, living though. Strong yeah. Oh my God. He made it back. He's got the ledge set up. This is scary. Oh no, misses though. Nice timing on Zane to avoid it. Oh, this is close situation. Ooh, it's that was the trouble. Still not dead. He's still. Okay. He's a character kill. That's, thank you. Please. All right. Please. Thank you. There were so many moments where I was like, please kill. Please. Give us some kill power. <laughs> oh my god. Is it that was the Duck Hunt like stepping on every single one. Like Richter's holding onto the cliff and Duck Hunt's like stepping onto every single one of his fingers. But yeah. ultimately, very good setup to um to to finally force uh to finally force Dark Falcon off stage for the last time. Um using the can to force out a roll and then absolutely like completely ready for it with the F tilt there. Oh, yeah. One thing about this matchup, or well, any matchup with the Richters, the Belmonts, the Simons, mm. is that when they're off stage, it's a fight for their damn life. Yeah. <laughs> one jump steal or anything like that, like any straight hit hits them, it's just like, oh man. And we saw that too. Um, Zayn, like, Zayn absolutely took. Okay. Okay, this is not the counter pick that they wanted, so. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, going off as like they decided on the stages here. Let's see. Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> like, hold on. I'm chewing, so I can't help you. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. I'll, it'll, it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me as I, as I was going off about it. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that off stage thing is is key. Um. I forgot. Sorry. So if, if the offstage, okay. So if the let me so let me play off that. So if the offstage yeah. thing is important, what stages do you, do you think Dark Falcon wants here? I believe Kalos could be a, a, an opportunity for them to mm -hmm. to come back on. That sounds right. You think, Something like a, oh wow. Ooh, wait, Lilat's legal? We got Lilat back? Okay. Oh yeah, over the uh -huh. weekend we got it back. Uh, oh word. Some angry MDVA TOs were just like, can we have it back? And like, <laughs> can we have a stage list with no DSR? Thank you. And we're like, exactly. Like, what are you like, doing? Good. It's a and stupid then, rule for a reason. Yeah. So we're back to classic Xeno rule set. <laughs> All right. Suck it, Let's Dave. Go. <laughs> Hold that shit, Dave. All right, Lilat's back. Perfect stage for for a Belmont to take a, a character like Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. One of their better stages. You gotta, I mean, you gotta stay on stage though. I'm not messing cool. around with, I'm not messing around with Lilat off stage. Especially if I'm Richter. Burns those banditos. Go for these setups against Zane, taking qu quick control of the stage. Ooh, and again, he gets underneath the can by swinging with the, with the tether. Dark Falcon at Maestro of this recovery right now. And that's a that's another big axe. And oh my, look at look at trying to whip this dog. Look at Zane get trapped on that platform. <laughs> how, like how do you escape there? The floor is lava for Zane right now. Yeah, couldn't even get their can eyes. Those are about to explode too. Good time to get out of that setup as well. But this is Ooh, still the okay. Can? And Com again, what coverage all you right is, there? Yeah, all you gotta do is get him to kill percent, and then it's a last hit game, and then it's it's just about finding that hit. Oh, the axe is so. Zane, uh, Zane may have learned a thing or two from Dark Falcon getting under those projectiles and ledge. Yeah, the hits are coming out. It's Dark Falcon is using the the cannons to their advantage here to get this. Oh no, Lilat! Lilat eating up that boomerang again. Probably has to throw it the other way in order to make it work. Mm-hmm. Or stand a little closer to center, but Ooh, nice. like you stand too close. Place. Yeah. Oh, pinballed around. Oh, gets the oh, not quite the nair the nair drag down. Dark Falcon was looking for. This is a little happy set of combos. He surprised two of them for later. <laughs> Zane. Building up so much, looking to take this 3-0 right now. Really? 
How is it still acting like that? Okay, okay, Clay Pigeon. That move broken. That move broken. Look what look that, at that game that, saying. That move's a problem. <laughs> ah! 15 off the can. Zane's lead is quite nice right now. Yeah. This feels like Dark Falcon really throwing the kitchen sink. Like, because Dark Falcon's been playing really, really well and disrupting a lot of what Zane is doing. But when Zane gets in, Zane's getting a lot of damage, and it feels like D Dark Falcon really kind of throwing the kitchen sink at Zane right now, with especially with the Lilac pick. And I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure how much Dark Falcon has left in the tank here. Yeah, this lead Almost, is quite large. Seeing one, about to see 100% on their tournament stock. Ooh, tipper back air. Solid hit, though. Solid hit. All right. Let's That's see what you right. got, Dark Falcon. It's Ooh. all on the line here. Oh, the that's two hitting. axes. That's big damage off the jump. Oh, this is the second hit of the, of the record down tilt. Yeah. Ooh, oh, this is good. This is good. This is the, big the, damage. The Coming in the clutch right there. Zane kind of turtling a little bit, and it is not paying off at all. Ex until, Wait. oh my god, the tech saved his life. No. What are you doing swinging there? No. Okay, almost threw that oh away my there. God. Running towards, running in the same direction in the can is so scary. Okay, he's got to find a big axe here or something. John Zane to jump out, has to survive the minefield of... <gasps> oh my god, how'd you dodge that axe? Finds a gap in. And makes it back. Okay, this is Dark Falcon with center stage control. What can you do with it? Homie Boomerang. Coming in the clutch, the fire. Oh, oh my god. That's Lilac. it. That's gotta be, yeah. Wow. Let's Dark Falcon. Go. Okay, I asked how much Dark Falcon had left in the tank. Clearly a lot. Because he came back in that game three with a vengeance. Oh, yeah. Those axes were hitting clean. And when they stopped working, the forward tilt was right there to stop him as a stop sign. And then those crosses were thrown at such a. Great angle to, to cover defensive approaches. Axe is really, you see that Al, extra Axe really distance? been the bane of Zane's existence right now. You see that extra distance you get from the slant? It's just like, look how far I am. And I'm going to throw this holy <laughs> water like it's nothing. Boom. Yo, that's true. Uh, oh, my God. He knows I'm so glad you pointed that out, Devin. Psh, uh, punish this, dummy. That's what he's saying. <laughs> That's <Stupid>. violence. <laughs> That's a whole axe. <gasps> what the hell? Bayon, Bayon, no, no. What? what uh, huh? Okay. I see. Three, I see. Two, one, Zane go. looking to bring back the classic over here. One of their, their pride and joy mains from the Smash 4 days. Let's see how they do it. Like, for one thing, All I'd right. say ba Bayonetta's have been running rampant on these brackets lately. <laughs> It used to be Wii Fits a for a bit, but like now it's Bayonetta's. <laughs> I'm going to stir the pot a bit, and I'm going to say that Zane is BMing Dark Falcon and saying, I can beat you with Bayonetta, and I want to ditto Tejuice in Losers Finals, so I want to <laughs> warm up my Bayo now. You're just cannon fodder for me, Dark Falcon. That's, that is what Zane's saying with this Bayo pick. Oh, yeah. Good beat. Shots fired. That's right. If anything, but like... You don't know what goes on in these players' heads as we're heading into game four here. Zane keeping it quite evenish, quite evenish. Mm -hmm. Keeping it close. Oh, oh man, imagine. If that all worked out for you, that would have been your stock. Yep. But you know what? Dark Falcon hitting the text now. So I wonder how Bane that does against Belmont here. As oh yeah, that's true. Very well off stage, I would imagine. Yeah, uh, I, was, I just remember like from, from all the times I've seen this matchup. Um, whenever Bayonetta gets the opportunity to put Belmont's off stage, mm -hmm. it's just it's just so bad. Yeah. But Dark Falcon holding in their own ground right here. Demanding respect out of Zane. Yeah. Oh. Surviving goes high, but no jump. If, if Dark Falcon wins this game, this is going to be the saddest Duck Hunt switch of all time. <laughs> could potentially oh. stick with Bayonetta right. too, as it could work out. Mm -hmm. as, as we mentioned before, that, that, that offstage play, like if Zane gets that one opportunity to put Dark Falcon there, it could be an easy two-game two uh, GG shake my hand situation. Mm -hmm. 
So, I'm interested in like the lore matchup oh, between Cook. Okay, never mind. All right, uh, the, for, forget my jokes. Um, Dark Hawk <laughs> is insane. Yeah, just just cooking them. Zayn had trouble trying to get away from those those holy waters. They burnt the witch. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. So that's my, that's my question. Like, what is what is the Belmont clan stance vis-a-vis -vis whatever ban? Ban is like Umbra witch or whatever. What's the like? What what are the political relations between those two clans? I wonder. Probably terrible as she does make pack with devils and. True. True. Coming from yeah, but, holy but the Belmonts are vampire hunters. They're not witch hunters. Witches. If they hunt witches, that's just collateral. Yeah, that's what I would in, in their way, really. But they have to fight through a lot in order to get to that castle. Hmm. True. <laughs> Oh, this is looking quite. Oh. Shake my hand, but until the switch time, I'm oh. not enough to take the stock off. All right, off stage against Bayonetta. Dark Hawk is forced into those high recoveries a lot, and a few too many of those, and Zane's gonna catch on pretty soon. Yeah, it has to throw off the timing on the recoveries with those switch twists, put them in those weird angles whenever they get hit mm -hmm. by them. Oh, the outro. Oh my god, platform. Dark what Falcon is, is so mad at this stock right now. <laughs> Looking quite comfortable with this lead. Playing with fire. Oh, Ooh, the tipper back okay. air taking the stock. Looking quite comfy. 2-2 two, two Dark Falcon Zane. Dark Falcon's like, watch me. I can convert holy water into all my aerials. <laughs> you, why, you think I can't? Check it. And even then, they have like all these uh, these smash setups too for, with the with the whole uh -huh. water, those crosses. I could have s smash your ass. I didn't even need to <laughs> catch this with down whip. Just the, the down whip is so extra. He could have just do. He could have just like normal whipped. He could have s smash high, like. But no, aerial down back air. <laughs> catch it. Looking quite nasty with these confirms. Dark Falcon. Mm -hmm. Not not your everyday regular Belmont man that just throws items, throws items for purpose. <laughs> but I mean, we were saying that earlier. Like you can't succeed as Belmont in 2021 if you're just a B button player. Oh yeah. Like you got you gotta have your setups locked down. Yo, who called it? Who called it? Saddest duck on switch of all time. <laughs> your pay is not warmed up, Zane. Tail literally okay. between legs. <laughs> oh my god. Sad Both doggy. of the tails too, because the bird is there too. Got caught eating the spinach. Tail mm. feathers, too. <laughs> Yo, tell him, Devin. All right, back in it again at Smashville. Let's see what Zane can do with the, on the, off their counter pick here. In game five, having a strong start here. Yep. Now they kind of picking like, up where Zane left off. Yeah. I believe they're gonna go to Smashville like either way. Is there counter pick advantage? They try. They want to try things out with that bayonetta, so. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, Bye. Again. Stock so easily taken off from Zane right there. Only taking twenty five percent. Yep. God damn. Still at the end of the and day, they still have to watch out for Dark Falcon. You can't sleep on this Belmont. How do you get better? How do you get better setups against Bayonetta than Duck Hunt? As Bayonetta, you said. Yeah, no, how do you get, like, as Richter, how do you get better setups against Bayonetta than Duck Hunt? Richter. Oh, okay, never mind. He says, all right, fine, I got setups on Duck Hunt, too. Uh, yeah. I guess can. I guess can was probably the reason why. He still has somewhat limited options when coming back on the stage against the fire right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's up to Dark Falcon to catch it. Ooh, slides right in. Yep. Unexpected aggressive options from oh, some of the characters. Oh, that grab was great. Oh, it's still players off. Ooh, clay pigeon combos. Oh, wow. Ooh, Roll chicken. With that there. <laughs> Roll chicken. <laughs> it's like, where are you going? Uh -huh. I got you with this tech chase. Ooh, trust me. And again, so another much. really. Ri like, nice. he's, Dark Falcon is playing. It, Dark Falcon's using every every page of the recovery textbook here. <laughs> These nairs are covering so much for Zane. Ooh, there's that stuff again. For days, man. Zane has him. Those late hit clay pitches is something you do not want to get hit back. Mm -hmm. 
and you like you can you can oh, comfortably wow. take trades here. Dark Hawk when it was mashing down her in that situation that was a stock. Yeah. Or air dodge too. Sometimes it's like doing that to an opponent as like who's like button happy in certain situations is really good. Oh yeah. The, the knock off the stages is like <laughs> get stage control side buttons. Like Feels so up. good against like a yeah. Toon Link. Yeah. <laughs> it's like bye, idiot. <laughs> oh, they oh missed no! The that was so taking that, that setup. Oh my god! If if if, Zane, if Dark Falcon hits that setup, it, the game's dead even. Ooh, cooks him. I said he jumped some, something in there. Dark Falcon's tournament life is on the line. That's not oh, gets over the, okay. Here. Just like against Pac-Man, using the short hop whip to get over the the, the low flying projectiles. I just remember what I was going to talk about a couple games before. So hit me. Okay, so yeah. In certain situations, I saw Dark Falcon try to escape from uh, Zane at the ledge. Okay, they're dead. We'll talk about right. it later. Good stuff to Zane taking the set. <laughs> But yeah, All like right. overall, like in certain situations, um, Zane put Dark Falcon on the ledge a lot with the can, with the gunman's, the, the reverse can off the, the forward air, the back airs, all the all the ways it can make the can move. And I didn't feel like there was any rush to get back on to the stage, you know, get advantage back after getting knocked there. Yeah. Like, in certain situations, because like, like to me, it didn't, it didn't look like he didn't have to rush or throw away like like chances of, of of coming back as easily like due to like what Zane Hood would have to do in order to like read situations there. Like I don't know how like fast enough Zane could catch him off of like coming up a roll, neutral get up. Like once he gets past the two frame area of like what Zane can do with the gunman or the can. So like it was good on Dark Falcon to notice that, but it's just, at the same time it's like it's still Zane. Zane's a really solid player. Like even if it doesn't work now, like what he gets, what what they get next, could be crucial to taking a set. And they they look they took yeah. that last game quite comfortably. So, 